So one thing you'll often find when you're writing tests like this, particularly if you are unit testing and you are testing an individual model or an individual class, you know that you have to new it up inside of every test here. Now, wouldn't it be nice if we could new this up before every test so we don't have to keep defining it out here? Uh, well, that's exactly what we're going to look at here. Now, this is very, very simple and there's a lot more you can do with this. But in our case, we confidently know that in every test we need a fresh user model. It has to be fresh because otherwise if we were kind of setting things and then uh, doing things uh, again and again, it would kind of interfere with each subsequent test. So we know that every test we write in here, we need a new user model because we're testing the functionality over and over again with separate things. So all we do in this case is we create a setup method. Now this is uh, specific to PHP unit. So this will be called before every single test just here. So we can go ahead and just prove this by doing a var dump and let's dump one, it doesn't really matter. And let's go ahead and run our test suite again. So you can see here that this is run every single time before each of our tests. So we see this just dumped. Now what we want to do then is maybe up the top here, create a protected user property. And then in here, we can deal with the newing up of this user. So we could say this user and then set that to a new user model. Now that means we can get rid of all of these and instead we can just say this user, set first name, this user, get first name. Now, I don't always like this method. I think it's absolutely fine to go ahead and new up a model inside of each test. But let's say this was a little bit more complicated and you were testing specific, say, email functionality on a user model. Well, in this case, you might maybe want to pass through an email. Uh, this would be a little bit more messy to go ahead and add in each of your tests. Uh, really, it's just kind of common sense. Now, let's go ahead and just switch this over for each of these anyway, just so uh, it's done. We're not going to be doing this in anything else that we're building, but uh, it does help if you have lots going on up here that you need to kind of set up. So I think we can just change it for these two. I think you kind of get the idea uh, of this. Uh, let's go ahead and run our tests again. And it looks like we have some failure. So let's have a look. Creating default object from empty value. And of course, there we go, I misspelled this and that should go ahead and run and we have all of our tests passing. So if you want to, even for something simple like this, you can go ahead and do that. But like I said, it's more for when you have more advanced setup of a particular model or a particular class that you're dealing with. Either way that you know now that setup is gonna run before each of your tests so you can freshen everything up here and then it just means you have less code uh, to write in each of your tests. But that just should give you a good example uh, of how you might want to do that.